This is one of my surfer progression videos. This is session number 10 on my new surfboard. It's January 2021 and my focus today was to try to learn how to lean forward or use a small step forward to accelerate the board and also try a few right and left turns on the board in white water. I accomplished what felt like was like one of my longest runs so far on the board today. It was awesome. I'm in Nahant, Massachusetts. It's the winter. Magic seaweed um, forecasted two to three feet waves with a sev seven second period in between the primary swell and the rating today was one star. There was a secondary swell that had a little bit of a longer period, about 12, 13 seconds. And what I found was when the two waves combined together, you'd get a fairly large wave that you can try to catch. Uh, the air temperature was 36 degrees Fahrenheit and the water temperature was 43 degrees Fahrenheit. It's freezing, but I've got a wetsuit and it's a lot of fun. It was low tide, so I was able to walk out pretty far and paddle out to where um, I wanted to catch some waves, whether they were unbroken waves or white water. I was able to catch several waves and here are a few of them. It was great practice today. I found that when I would lean forwards or take a small step forward, I found that the board would accelerate. It was almost like the board would trim and be flatter on the water um, rather than having the nose standing up and my tail dragging behind me. This was great to accelerate, especially when I noticed that the wave was starting to go ahead of me and I was falling behind. So just a little bit of a step, starting with my right foot and then my left foot forward, and um, make sure that you were balanced when you do that. It's important to gain some speed um, early in, in my run. That's what I found that that was working for me. Once I gained some speed in that first part of my run, I started to try to practice a few turns. In order, to do, in order to do that, it wasn't a drastic lean to the left or a lean to the right. It was a little bit more nuanced than that. I would use my eyes to look to the right or look to the left and then have my arms and my chest follow my gaze. I tried to stare, at, uh, stare down the line and what I found was that it created a small lean uh, on my surfboard that would direct me to the right or the left. Uh, it was also important to lean backwards a little bit to lift the front when you were turning. Uh, that would prevent you from nose diving. Uh, but it would also slow you down. So, you know, once you got a little bit of a turn right or left, it was important to step back forwards to keep your speed with the wave. Another thing that worked well for me uh, on this day was at the end of each run, I was trying to do something daring, you know, try I don't want to just go straight um, without trying something new. So in each run, I was either trying to turn to the left or turn to the right or swing my arms to try to, you know, turn left and right at the same time. Um, no big turns because I'm still learning, but just small turns in the white water. And it was a lot of fun. You know, I fell a lot. It was freezing, but... I think it's a great social distancing activity. It's, it's January 2021 right now, and it's easy for me to drive here to Nahant from Marblehead and spend you know, an hour or so in the water trying to learn how to surf. I'm using a uh, seven foot uh, Creative Army Jumbo Jet surfboard, which I got from the Ocean House uh, Surf and Skate Shop in Swampscott. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. If you've got any tips, on learning how to surf, please please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.